What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So launch day is now over, right? Season of Discovery Phase 2 has been out for just under 24 hours and there's been a lot of new developments and new updates. People have found some runes, people have found the cozy sleeping bag, Nomer has actually been cleared by none of the above, an EU guild on wild growth. I'm going to do my best to wake up every single morning, figure out what has been found, things that have been changed, and give you guys an update so you know what happened the previous day or throughout the night. So jumping into the first bit of news here, yes, Nomergan was cleared by an EU guild called None of the Above on the Wild Growth server. They were able to hit level 40 and clear Nomergan in just under 12 hours after phase 2 launch. Now I watched a good bit of this as the raid looks a lot of fun, but I did have to go to sleep. I was live for like 10, 11 hours yesterday and I started seeing double so I was like you know what I'm gonna go to bed and I woke up this morning and they did finish it so that's pretty cool none of the above has taken the world first Nomer run and then the next pretty cool thing that happened was people were able to find the cozy sleeping bag right so this is like a six step pretty much quest chain that you have to do to obtain the cozy sleeping bag and at the end of completing this chain you're basically gonna get the cozy sleeping bag which allows you to get a three percent experience buff permanently uh, from sleeping in the bag and you'll get some other items as well called student fodders that will allow you to basically give yourself rested XP. I haven't done this yet myself. I'm going to be working on this today and I'm going to put a video together for you guys. But if you're trying to get this right now, I know Sarth put out a video on this. I watched it earlier this morning. It seems pretty easy to get. There's just a little bit of traveling around the world. So if you guys want to pick this up right now, while my video is not out, I will link Sarth's video in the description below. Something else that we figured out was that flight masters in Stranglethorn Vale actually be become hostile to you during the Blood Moon event. Yes, even if you are Alliance trying to use the Alliance Flight Master, that Flight Master is now hostile to you and vice versa. Same goes for Horde, right? If you're trying to fly out of Booty Bay during the Blood Moon event, those Flight Masters, even your same faction, will be hostile to you. So make sure that you keep this in mind. Moving on to quality of life books and runes. All of the quality of life books have been discovered and they are on Wowhead. There is a guide for each one to tell you where to get it. I'm not going to spoil that for you guys here in this video. I'll drop links to Wowhead uh, for anyone who wants to go farm their quality of life books. Every single one of the quality of life books have been found. This includes Commanding Shout for Warriors, Soul Harvesting, and portal of summoning for warlocks totemic projection for shamans redirect for rogues shadow fiend and increased fortitude for priests enhanced blessings for paladins expanded intellect for mages aspect of the viper for hunters and enhanced restoration revive and deeper wilds for druids again i'm not going to spoil that for you guys in this video this is not a guide on how to go get them i'll link the wowhead uh, article down below where you guys can go follow those guides if you do want to farm them but let's move on to figure out what runes were discovered on day one so, so far for druids, we have three of the six runes that have been discovered. Berserk has been discovered, Dream State has been discovered, and Survival Instincts has been discovered. Moving on to Hunters, we have Dual Wield Specialization. It has been discovered. This is a big one for Hunters. We have Invigoration and Steady Shot. Again, three out of the six runes have been found for Hunters. Moving on to Mages, we already know about Spell Frost Bolt. That was discovered before P2 launch. Uh, so we have that. We have Chronostatic Preservation and hot streak um so that is pretty good moving on down the list towards paladins we have sacred shield has been discovered and enlightened judgments and then for priests we have empowered renew renewed hope dispersion and pain suppression only two runes left to find for priests right we're looking for mind spike and spirit of the redeemer for rogues we have rolling with the punches shadow step and master of subtlety have been found so three out of six right there and for shamans three out of seven runes have been found we found decoy totem spirit of the alpha and power surge we're still looking for two-handed mastery ancestral awakening maelstrom weapon and fire nova totem for warlocks we have found dance of the wicked and shadow flame so four runes still left to discover for warlocks and it looks like the same goes for warriors right there's four runes undiscovered the only two that we've found for warriors so far are focused rage and intervene we're still looking for blood surge precise timing enrage regeneration and rallying cry now for the better part of yesterday during launch what i did was basically farmed stockades until around level 28 then headed over to razor fen crawl and as alliance let me tell you this was not an easy task it was really 
hard getting inside the dungeon. There was tons of world PvP. I think it took me about 30 minutes to get down to RFK uh, just running down the Barrens. That's how many times I got ganked trying to head over there. So uh, for me, the fastest way to do this on fresh launch while everyone is out world PvPing and questing, if you're trying to level really fast, you're going to want to jump into stockades if you're Alliance. Uh, stay there till 28. I honestly might skip Razorfen Crawl if I can go back and go straight to SM Graveyard just to not deal with all the world PvP. I think I killed about an hour of time doing that. Um, and then at 32, I went and jumped into uh, Scarlet Monastery Library, and that was giving some really good experience. But by that time, I was exhausted. I needed to get some sleep because I knew I was going to need to wake up today and uh, work on some content for you guys. So, yeah, I mean, the fastest way right now to level seems to be to Dungeon Grind. I know this kind of defeats the purpose of Season of Discovery. I'm usually not a big fan of Dungeon Grinding. I like questing and stuff like that. So today, I'm going to start taking my time. I just wanted to get a little bit ahead of the, the curve, ahead of the, like, the casual player. Um, um, so that I wasn't as contested. So today I'm probably going to work on getting my sleeping bag. I want to get all that footage for you guys, get that video together. But like I said, Sart's video is already out if you want to check it out and get that now. I'll link his video in the description below. But uh, I'm going to be working on that today for you guys. I'm going to do some questing and then I'll probably be jumping back into SM around level 33, 34 tonight and staying there most likely until 40. Um, and then maybe we'll get some Blood Moon events in today as well on stream. So that should be a good time. But anyways, guys, yeah, just a quick update for you. Like I said, I'm going to do a video every morning letting you guys know what happened throughout the night, what happened the day before, what runes have now been discovered. All the updates will be posted right here on the channel in a video compiled for you guys every single morning for the next week or two. So if that's something that you enjoy, hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot with the algorithm. And subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with me live, I'll be streaming on Twitch pretty much every day for the next week or two. Usually I only do four or five days, but... We're going to be going pretty hard with phase two. So I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hammerdance. Link to that in the description below as well. And if you're looking for an awesome community discord or a guild, if you're on the Lone Wolf server, um, you could join our discord. We will welcome you with open arms. We're just a bunch of like-minded people who all enjoy geeking out over Season of Discovery and Classic WoW in general. Uh, if you're not on Lone Wolf, you don't need to be. We still are just a discord community as well, but we do have a guild on Lone Wolf called The Tavern. So if that sounds like something you're interested in or you just want to join the Discord and chat with like-minded people, again, we'll welcome you with open arms. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I'll see you all in the next one.